human growth hormone is known to increase testosterone. Now, having healthy testosterone levels is known to boost human growth hormone. In this video, I'm going to cover the importance of bodily balance and how natural human growth hormone affects us. Now, we have numerous endocrine glands which produce many different hormones. Testosterone is just one of these hormones. It's one of many. It is essential to maintain uh, a healthy, balanced body, to maintain healthy, balanced hormones. All of our hormones must be balanced and optimised. Any imbalances in any of our hormones can and often do have a negative effect on testosterone levels. Now, hormones are effectively um, chemicals that regulate the various functions within the body and act as a kind of messaging system by carrying chemical messages through your blood to your various organs, muscles and tissues. It's explained simply, it's a bit more complicated than that. Now this relay of chemical messages instructs your body what to do and when to do it. Now the hormones carry instructions which influence all of our bodily functioning. Your body makes over 50 hormones and many of these hormones interact with each other and some of them regulate each other. This is why it's so important to achieve a state of healthy balance within the entire body. Human growth hormone is a natural hormone secreted in the pituitary gland. Now, human growth hormone helps to maintain normal bodily functioning, um, helps to regulate metabolism. It's fundamental in regulating blood sugar levels. It can also promote stem cell activation. It's also important for growth and cell regeneration and cell reproduction. Now, human growth hormone is fundamental to body function and helps to maintain and build and also repair healthy tissue in our brains, our vital organs and our muscles. It even plays a role in the post-exercise recovery process and in wound healing. It also aids in weight loss and weight management to a degree in increasing muscle mass, improved bone health and improved cognitive functioning. And all of these things will have a positive overall effect on testosterone levels, unless, of course, when taken to ridiculous excess, anything taken to excess can and often does have the opposite effect. Now, one of the best ways to stimulate and maintain good levels of human growth hormone is regular exercise and by leading an active lifestyle. You know, one of many reasons why the active lifestyle is better than the sedentary. Human growth hormone is secreted in the pituitary gland. Your pituitary is connected to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus communicates with the pituitary gland with instructions to secrete various hormones including hormones involved in testosterone production, as we already know. Now, the pituitary releases human growth hormone in short bursts throughout the day whenever it's required. This is thought to be roughly every three to five hours, but of course, this varies from person to person. The release of human growth hormone is also regulated by two other hormones released by the hypothalamus. Now, the hypothalamus releases growth hormone releasing hormone which stimulates the release of human growth hormone and somatotropin which inhibits human growth hormone release in a negative feedback kind of regulating and balancing each other this is just part of our body's finely tuned mechanism designed by nature because too little or too much of human growth hormone and anything for that matter can have a negative effect on bodily and mental functioning in some way. Now, several other endocrine hormones also interact with human growth hormone, insulin growth factor, which is a suppressor of human growth hormone production, which is why high sugar intake and poor dietary choices can have a negative effect on hormone production. Human growth hormone and insulin growth factor secretion are regulated by each other and kind of balance each other. Human growth hormone triggers insulin growth factor secretion and insulin growth factor inhibits the release of 
human growth hormone in a negative feedback loop. Sounds pretty complicated, I know. In healthy people, um, human growth hormone secretion is inhibited by blood sugar and stimulated by a combination of sleep, managing stress, cultivating a balanced mental state and leading an active lifestyle, you know, keeping blood sugar regulated and the regular con consumption of amino acids. Human growth hormone affects metabolism by increasing the production of insulin growth factor and its effects on the cells in your body. Now, insulin growth factor is a hormone similar to insulin that helps to regulate blood sugar levels in the body by decreasing them and helping to prevent them remaining elevated for any length of time. In a healthy body, your blood glucose levels are carefully regulated. Blood glucose is the main blood sugar found in your blood, which is produced by eating carbs and is part of the process for converting carbs into energy to be used by the body. This blood glucose is an important source of energy, provides nutrients to the organs, muscles and nervous system in your body, and this is your glycogen stores. Human growth hormone normally increases blood glucose levels when they get too low. It's a mechanism for preventing low blood sugar and energy crash. If you have excess amounts of human growth hormone in your body, however, it can counteract the effects of insulin causing high blood glu glucose levels, which is a precursor to diabetes and insulin resistance. Now, put this really simply, eliminating sugar and processed foods from your diet and consuming a diet that is high in protein and amino acids will help to balance all of this out. Diabetes and insulin resistance can contribute towards low testosterone. Diabetes medication alone can cause low testosterone. This is just another reason why balancing diet is so important for testosterone. Now, human growth hormone deficiency can have a negative effect on mental well-being. It can increase your stress reaction and impair your cognitive functioning and your mood as well it can lead to increased body fat and also contribute towards weakening the muscles and the bones now synthetic hgh you know is often used by guys who train in the misguided belief that it will increase muscle mass and it's beneficial to them you know it will to a degree help in increasing muscle mass but it will also help you to develop insulin resistance pretty quickly and diabetes along with that and also comes with a high probability of developing joint and muscular pain and comes with the possible development of gyno and this is because human growth hormone levels tend to be higher in women than in men now injecting human growth hormone will contribute towards the development of feminine features in much the same way that the use of performance enhancing drugs will. Hormone disruptions all have a negative effect and a price to pay which outweighs any benefits that they can provide and usually these benefits are just short-term benefits you know so why bother you know however to optimize your natural levels of human growth hormone is going to be of great help to helping you maintain healthy levels of testosterone. Now, here are some natural ways to improve the secretion of human growth hormone. Reducing body fat. Now, obesity and high body fat percentages can lower human growth hormone production. Sounds illogical because you, you associate human growth hormone with growing bigger, but no. Also, higher levels of visceral fat have been linked to lower levels of human growth hormone. Visceral fat is the type of fat that excesses of are stored around the organs, leading which can also contribute towards um, many other health problems. Reducing your body fat is an effective way to restore your natural human growth hormone produ production. Again, don't take this to an excess because body fat that is too low will not give you more human growth hormone or more health benefits it will also crash your testosterone levels exercise is a an excellent stimulator of human growth hormone it's among the best the best types of exercise are resistance training and aerobic exercises such as hiking running cycling swimming 
in reality, anything that increases your heart rate, gets your heart going, increases how much oxygen your body uses or makes you, forces you to breathe harder, anything which fits this bill is going to be suitable for helping with your human growth hormone levels. Intermittent fasting can be effective at boosting human growth hormone. Now, the optimum fasting time is thought to be anything from 16 to 48 hours. It's thought to that this happens because of the role that human growth hormone plays in breaking down fat for the body to use as energy during the fast. Now, eating a high-protein diet can be very beneficial to human growth hormones. Um, regular and consistent consumption of amino acids has been found to be very beneficial to human growth hormone production. Protein-rich foods are the most abundant in amino acids. Amino acids aid the repair of muscles and cells, and they are amino acids are technically the building blocks of life. Now, eat a diet rich in clean whole foods, you know, obvious one, but is very important. Keep sugar intake to an absolute minimum for reasons described before. Eliminate all refined sugars from your diet and only eat sweet foods such as fruit and raw honey. And do this even in moderation because many anti-vegetable carnivores are now They've now started adding fruits to their diet to compensate for the obvious nutrient deficiency potential taken to an excess. You know, in the case of Paul Saladino, who's now eating 300 grams of carbohydrates per day from fruits, this could elevate insulin levels. I'm waiting for the announcement from him that he has developed insulin resistance or something. A reduction of all sugar intake will lower the need for insulin and this may help in increasing human growth hormone. Now supplements that can be beneficial to human growth hormone production are L-arginine, which is abundant in eggs, you know, yet another reason, uh, benefit of eating eggs, and also in glutamine and creatine. Now, of course, a diet that includes moderate intake of animal proteins and provides good amount will provide you also with good amounts of gl glutamine and creatine. You know, this is um, one of the benefits of eating animal proteins. Human growth hormone levels increase during sleep during to the, due to the influence of melatonin. Melatonin, as we all know, is a hormone secreted by the body to induce tiredness and prepare you for sleep uh, a regular natural circadian sleep cycle is very important to maintaining good levels of human growth hormone within the body excuse me establishing a natural circadian rhythm is also directly beneficial to testosterone production any form of sleep deprivation um, have been associated with an increased risk of diabetes and insulin resistance, and this will lower levels of human growth hormone as well as your testosterone. Sleep also plays a role in the balance of cortisol and our natural cortisol cycle, and it's fundamental to the restoration of energy and vitality. Sleep is nature's great restorer. Human growth hormone is essential for testosterone in many ways. Testosterone is essential for human growth hormone and many, many other bodily functions. Now, the number one biomarker for how well we age, both physically and mentally, is natural hormone production. TRT and other synth hormones and peptide injections are no substitute for natural hormone production. Synth hormones will cause further hormonal imbalances, remember, we produce more than 50 hormones and hormone imbalances caused by synth hormones will bring more unwanted symptoms and side effects. Something the medical industry in a TRT niche will not tell you. A balanced body will naturally produce balanced hormones. Balanced hormones lead to better health and better life quality. 
Optimum HGH levels, human growth hormone, will help to contribute towards this. Go natural and avoid synthetic hormones. Subscribe to this channel and follow this series for more.